welcome back to another video and today we're doing some cooking believe it or not i'm actually somebody despite having terrible memory issues breaking things all the time often setting off my fire alarm to a point where my neighbors are getting progressively madder at me i can actually cook some pretty damn good food i can't remember to go to the grocery store like, ever so i pretty much rely on having things around the house that i buy in mass that can either be frozen or is non-perishable. As well, somebody who is diabetic, I can't exactly eat a lot of traditional, easy to make foods such as instant ramen. Instead, I am going to be making my own soup. Some might even call it the best damn soup they've ever had in their lives. If I could, I would send you soup in the mail. Get a little envelope, put soup stuff in there. I hope it doesn't evaporate. I won't have drag wheels. I will just have meals with soup in bags up their butt. I also did a poll on Instagram asking y'all, would y'all prefer to watch me make food completely sober or, oh, good one. Or would you prefer to watch me sip a little wine and do it or take a little edible? Pretty much all of you minus my mother who said I should stay sober. But as it goes on, I must continue to disappoint the bloodline while I do edibles. Hey. I am going to clean up my counter. I have yet to take an edible. So I'm going to pop one of those little guys and it should take about an hour to hit. So I'll see y'all in an hour when this shit is starting to make its way into my bloodstream. All right, we're back. It's starting to hit now. My brain is feeling fuzzy. I have racing thoughts to the next degree. I have like several different <laughs> job Englishing. I will have several different thoughts overlapping each other into a mosaic of anxiety, chaos, and a little bit of fruit punch. <laughs> Filming videos is so much easier though when my anxiety is gone. This is, I'm having a great time right now. Soup time, baby. I need a knife. It has to do with the soup. Don't worry, I'm doing good. Ugh! I am going to be using frozen vegetables in a bag. Shout out to the green giant. He's daddy as fuck. I would eat his beans. Get a little butt of that. Those vegetables, you're gonna need those. Feel free to change these out for literally anything else that is a fresh vegetable. I'm sure it would probably taste a little bit better than what I'm making. Also gonna need an onion. Lucky, lucky me, I have half an onion already in the fridge. You can throw a whole onion into your soup. I'm not a full onion kind of gal. I can only handle half of the onion stank in there. It's like a good stank, but it's still that onion stank. <laughs> Onion stank. You will also need noodles to put in the soup. I'm gonna be using soba noodles. They aren't glutinous. I can't eat gluten and gluten tends to be high in sugar. And as a diabetic, I need to like watch my girlish figure. It's not really girlish, it's getting more like, mm, boiled shrimp meat patty. I say boiled shrimp because my aunt has told me I have terrible posture and I stand like a boiled shrimp. I would recommend using ramen noodles, to be honest. You can also make this recipe with udon noodles. Use your favorite noodle of your choosing. Haha, <laughs> the only thing that's sober about me is soba. It's sober. That was a stretch. I can stretch a joke, but I can't touch my damn toes. So, I'm gonna be putting an egg in it because I like egg, good egg. If you wanna make it vegan, don't put the egg in it. That's it. And we have a box of broth that I bought at Loblaws. Fuck Loblaws though, they are price gouging all of us. However, they do have some good precedent choices of soup broth, so you know, still had to pick up that shit. Personally, I enjoy their ramen broth more. I don't know what magic they put into that, probably chemicals. Usually chemicals if it tastes good. And it's cheap, it's always chemicals in that case. Miso broth, because they ran out of the ramen soup broth, so we're using this instead. Miso soup, anyone want some miso soup? Clang clang, pot time. I bet I could pee in this. I shouldn't though, because that would be bad. Don't pee in the pots, pee in the toilet. To make the process faster, we will use two pots. One make soup, one make noodle. Last but not least, we're gonna need some gochujang sauce, that stuff that they always charge you $5 extra for if you want a little container of it at any Korean restaurant. Hot pepper fermented paste, and it makes it spicy and extra yummy. And we love things that make food yummy. Anyways, to cutting the onion first. Not into a dice, but into slices. Take off the skin. Watch my speed and knife skills. I'm not actually 
to that fast. Two hours later. I'm getting cut. Good onion. Last thing I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna put on bacon because I fucking want some bacon. Not that this is like part of the soup recipe at all, but like this soup plus some bacon would kind of fucking slap right now. I'm gonna get some bacon and we're gonna head over to the stove. All right, we are at the stove and I have got a cup of luck. This is my favorite mug because it has a unicorn on it. Obviously. So what's probably gonna take longest to cook is the bacon that I want. I don't even wait for the pan to warm up because who has the fucking patience for that? Is there a chance that this method, if you can even call it a method and not a mistake, is potentially going to kill me through E. coli or some crap like that? There's a likelihood. And now the bacon is on the pan. Let's pour the broth into the big metal bowl. Nice. I totally messed up which pot was supposed to have what. We're gonna go back in time. We're gonna reverse the steps. Nothing has happened. Everything is perfect. Okay, wow, look at that. The broth was definitely poured into the correct thing. Wow. While you're waiting for your water to boil, you can start making the broth extra yummy with restaurant paste. This is what it looks like on the inside. Currently, it's kind of crusty, dusty as fuck in there. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. This is the one that's been at the back of my fridge for too long. I guess I should probably find the other one and throw this one out because I can't get none of this. So give me a second here. I'm gonna go into my fridge and get the one that isn't this one. Oh, that smells too. Well, the correct one. Go Go into there, grab some of that red goo stuff. There it is. Now I just take the spoon and chopsticks that I'm gonna use to eat soup anyways. Put the big old blob and I just slowly work it into the broth. I'm also attempting not to turn on my fan because the moment I turn on my fan, mm. y'all are not gonna be able to hear me for shit. It's hot as fuck in my house. I'm gonna be taking on my pants in a minute. Super. Nice and quick. And grab some It is officially too hot in here to be wearing pants. This is redonkulous. Who needs this? I'm hungry while I'm waiting for the food to cook. Y'all have seen me at peak performance. I'm gonna go get some sweet potato chips. Oh, before I do that though, onions can go in as soon as you put that broth on. Get that onion juice in the soup. Put them in that broth. During waiting for the soup, some of your options of things that you could do, you can post your life story on Reddit so people can ridicule you. You can also file your taxes. If you haven't done that, you should. That's on being a responsible adult. Water needs to put the noodles in it. I need to put the noodles in the water. Put it in the pot. Cook them. For soap and noodles, it's gonna take four minutes. Then you just soak them in cold water afterwards. So fun fact, I never turn the heat on for the back burner. I cook a lot with chopsticks too because I'm Asian. I'm gonna flip the bacon. I'm gonna flip the bacon. A little nervous. Exhaust fan has got to turn on. I'm sorry for the noise. Too much steam and smoke. Noodles! You put them in the bowl. That's cooking. It is burning. This is oil. Oh, I totally just did burn the bacon. Bacon on a napkin. That's enough from you. The number one key to cooking is patience. I don't have a lot of it, which is why I'm gonna put the vegetables in. She said, give it to me, give it to me, put the vegetables in me. I put enough vegetables in there for my doctor to be proud of me. I just need validation. Eggs are a weird thing. I don't like the concept of them. I don't like that it's something that is produced in the human realm. I don't like that I have eggs in me. What a weird thought. Anyways, crack that shit. Put it in your soup. So we'll be waiting approximately one to one and a half minutes. My tummy is saying I need some food in it. And my hands are also wet because I washed them in the sink. I rub it on my legs. Now it's less wet and my legs are wet. Intelligence is hard to find. Luckily, I have enough of it to figure that one out. I think the egg is probably cooked enough. <laughs> Bring over your bowl, grab a towel. Grab your soup stock, and then guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna pour it in the bowl. Bam! Look at that soup. Doesn't that look super? All right, so look at that. We have our meal. It's coming together. Our four, our fully. Take a little bite of this meal. It's important to add the final touch. The add some sesame oil and chili garlic sauce. This is quite a bit. I would say if you're gonna try it for the first time, taste it first, figure out if you like it. And then I just top it off with some sesame oil. 
yodel sprinkle dinkle. I actually put a lot. That was an insane amount of sesame oil. I haven't closed any of my cupboards. And finally, before I can try anything yummy and delicious, I have to take my insulin shot because I need insulin in my body to process these sugars. Otherwise, I will slowly die. That's why I take needle. I'm gonna take three units of this. It goes into my tummy. Oh gee. <laughs> take it out. Bam! Put the needle into the biohazard. Let's try the soup. Get a little little onion in there. Get a little soup. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Where's my happy soup done? It's yummy, it's warm, it's healthy, and it's gonna energize me for a night of doing some video editing once I'm done filming this. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. If you would like more cooking videos in the future, leave a comment and let me know. Now my ass is going to shoot, shoot, shoot.